Hello everyone, Dr. Matt Ed. Today we'll talk about transesophageal echocardiogram, part one. The TEE probe goes into the mouth and down the esophagus, and the heart sits right in front of the esophagus, so we can take pictures of the heart through the esophagus, created by sound waves of the echocardiogram. In this video, we'll talk about indications, risks, and contraindications. TEE views will be talked about in other videos, and these include mid-esophageal view, transgastric view, and high esophageal view. The most common indications for TEE are to evaluate for cardiac source of embolus. So for this one, we evaluate the valves, the left, the left atrial appendage, the intraatrial septum, and the aorta. For any large vegetations or friable arthroma, endocarditis to assess the valves for any source of vegetations to look at if there's any abscess present near the valves, and that will help to determine medical versus surgical therapy. Before, during, and after major cardiac surgery, such as bypass and or valve surgery for pre-op and intraoperative evaluation to help guide surgical therapy. Intracardiac shunts to look for ASDs or anomalous pulmonary venous return. Precardioversion in those with atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation to rule out left atrial appendage, atrial and ventricular structures for thrombus any intracardiac masses that needs further evaluation, TEE will be able to visualize smaller and mobile lesions, and to assess proximal aortic dissection when patients are unable to get a CT or MRI. Below are common contraindications to TEE if patients have known esophageal strictures, perforation, lacerations, or large diverticula, if patients have loose teeth, they will need a dental exam and possible extraction before proceeding. If they have cervical spine instability, as we need to manipulate, manipulate the neck for TEE and also anesthesia. Inability to protect the airway if they are not intubated. And these are the relative contraindications to TEE. If the patient has dysphagia or adenophagia, recent upper GI bleeding slash history of esophageal varices, or extensive radiation to the chest and mediastinum, these patients would first need GI evaluation and clearance before proceeding as they can have strictures or masses in the esophagus. These are the risks of TEE. Since we are putting a TEE probe down the mouth and into the esophagus, we are and it's a blunt instrument, there's a small chance of esophageal trauma, tear, or perforation in about one in a thousand patients, risk of upper GI bleeding, aspiration, dental injury, and aspiration of a loose teeth, displacement of endotracheal and nasal gastric tubes if they're present. Patient will be under moderate sedation while we perform the TEE and there are risks to anesthesia, and these include hypotension from anesthesia, methemoglobinemia, respiratory depression, arrhythmias, reaction to anesthesia, infection or bleeding from IV site for IV medications, and death. These are my references. If you thought this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and look out for my next video. Thank you for watching.